Hi friends, my name is Ansha and I'm an educator of Unacademy and you can follow me on our website or you can download the Unacademy learning app. So uh, in this lesson also we'll continue with uh, DES. So if you like my lesson, please uh, rate, recommend and review and don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel. Hi, so we are learning data encryption standard and in the previous lesson we learned uh, it's a block cipher, a single key is used which is uh, why we call it a symmetric. Uh, symmetric cipher and uh, the data will be 64 bit the key will be 56 bit and also we learned there are 16 rounds isn't it so first of all what happens 64 bit plain text will be given and uh, an initial permutation will happen then will there will be 16 rounds uh, for each round a 48 bit key will be given as an input and then after this 16 rounds what happens there will be a swapping and then uh, again a permutation will be happening then uh, we'll get the output as 64 bit cipher text okay so uh, we learned what is happening in each round so our uh, 64 bit input will be there so it will be split into two left 32 bit and right 32 bit then uh, there will be a function so we'll take this right 32 bit and the key 48 bit key as input to this function and the output output plus left 32 bit will be XORed and the result left 32 bit and this output will be XORed and the result will be our new right 32 bit and this right 32 bit without any change will be our new left 32 bit okay so that is what is happening in each round then we learned what is this function what is happening in this function so we are learning that now so uh, for first there will be this uh, 32 bit input and 48 bit key to the function so first of all this 32 bit will be given to an expansion box and it will expand it to what 48 bit so we learned how that happens so uh, first we split this into 8 4 bit blocks and then we add two bits to each of the block to make it 48 isn't it so we made it 48 bit we learned how is that happening now after these all operations this 32 bit input will be expanded to 48 bit and this 48 bit key and after uh, this expansion we get what 48 bit data uh, plus this 48 bit key will be given as uh, input to this XO unit then what happens it will be XO'd now all these are what this this will be what binary data okay now this will be XO'd and again after XOR operation we'll again get what 48 bit okay now this 48 bit will be given to what S boxes okay why because this is a 48 bit isn't it now we need we need it to be 32 bit so we need to compress it into compress this 48 bit into what 32 bit okay so that is why we are using s boxes which are uh, substitution boxes okay s box means what substitution boxes so in this case of expansion uh, we had in this case of expansion we had four bits and we made it into what six bits isn't it we had this four bits and four bits and we made it to what six bits so similarly to compress this compress this 48 bit into what 32 bit we need uh, to change 6 bit into what 4 bits okay so let us see what is uh, really happening inside these s boxes okay so to these s boxes there will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 s boxes so to each s box we'll give what 6 inputs okay that is we are dividing our 48 bit data see we have 48 bit data here as input to s boxes so this 48 bit data will be divided into what six six bit blocks okay now this will be each six bit will be given as input to these s boxes now this s box will do what this s box will convert this into what four bit outputs okay now two bits are removed from each block now what happens this will be 32 bit okay so that is what is happening here now what is an s box so it's kind of a table there will be predefined values in that okay so uh, let's explain it using an example so uh, let my six bit 
be this okay the, this will be what this will be a binary data isn't it so this 6 bit be a 0 0 1 0 1 1 okay so this is my 6 bit and I need this to be uh, in 4 bit okay so what I do is I'll select an S box so there are S boxes pre which predefined values so this is my S box so in this case I need to have values for row and column then choose corresponding value okay so how is that happening so the first and last this one sorry it is this one okay so this 0 and the last one will be my row so 0 1 will be my row and the middle bits that is 0 1 0 1 is my column value okay so this 0 and 1 0 1 is my row and the middle four values 0 1 0 1 is what is my column value okay so now I have my values for row and column now I can go to my S box and select the corresponding value okay so 0 1 is my row 0 1 is my row and 0 1 0 1 is my column so this is the column and this is the row now I need to find the intersection so this is the intersection 0 1 1 1 so this will be the corresponding 4 bit value okay so this 0 0 1 0 1 1 became what 0 1 1 1 okay similarly all the 6 bit blocks will be converted to 4 bits resulting in a 32 bit data okay now what will happen now this 48 bit is uh, after uh, passing through these s boxes what will happen 32 bit will be an output now again i give this to an permutation box so what happens so if it is like 00, zero uh, there will be 32 bits isn't it now these 32 bits will be uh, changing their positions and uh, and hope permuted data will be the output so 32 bit output okay so that is what is happening inside the function so that is how uh, this 48 bit key and 32 bit key is inputted and after that uh, we get a 32 bit output okay so uh, first of all it will be expanded and after that we will do an XOR operation and then it will be compressed okay so that is what is happening inside this function and so 32 bit input 48 bit input and output is again a 32 bit okay now this and this will be XOR and it will be the new right 32 bit and this will be the new left 32 bit okay so that is a uh, perfectly what is happening inside a round okay now what happens in the last round in the last round that is the 16th round what will happen after the final swapping these two will be that is the left 32 bit and the right 32 bit will be joined to get the final 62 bit 64 bit sorry 64 bit this is 64 bit okay 32 plus 32 is what 64 so 64 bit okay now after the final left right swapping and again a permutation will be done to get the final 64 bit ciphertext now how to decrypt this now to decrypt this we need to do the reverse operation so first we give this uh, 64 bit ciphertext to the inverse initial permutation then the swapping will be happening then 16 rounds will be there and then uh, again a permutation will be done and then we'll get what 64 bit plain text now what about this keys so there will be a 56 bit key and there will be this round key generator generating 48 bit keys to each rounds okay so we need what 16 48 bit keys okay so that is also happening there and now what is the strength of this DES the main strength of this DES is this 56 bit key okay so there are 56 bits in this key so uh, this uh, cryptanalysis or any such attacks will be very difficult so there will be 2 raised to 56 possibilities isn't it so it will be very tough so that is why this DES is very secure okay so I, so I hope all uh, you all understood this so that is the ES so 64 bit plain text after all these processing will be converted to 64 bit ciphertext okay thanks for watching my video